Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna kick out Windows PowerShell. Unless you absolutely need it and you do advanced stuff with it. Otherwise, it will eat a lot of resources on my computer. I'm just simulating PowerShell running on its own here, but sometimes it runs on its own without me actually needing it to run. But in this time, I just opened it so to show you running on Task Manager. After you open Task Manager and let's say you close it, you end the task and you know, all, it good, all it's good and dandy until a few minutes later. Few minutes later, few minutes later, boom. PowerShell is back on, running on the background, usually with two to three tasks, eating resources. Well, what do you do in this case? Well, let's disable PowerShell. In that case, you go to your start menu, type features, and uh, you go to turn Windows features on or off. You click it, expand it so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Go to PowerShell 2.0, and as you see, it's clicked, so it's active. We want to uncheck that. We click OK. It will search for required files. It will do its job, and it will ask you to restart your computer. And after you restart your computer, you are done. Windows has gotten rid of Windows PowerShell so it will not start on the background without your permission unless you go back to app features and reactivate it. As per now, that's all I had. It was a short video as I told you. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Come on, please. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> anyway, thank you for your time and we'll see you next time. Bye.